Let's take a quick look at how you can use the branching feature within a Microsoft form. So I have a form here that I've already used and set up all of the branches that I want to make. But I'm going to click up here in the dot 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 menu uh, in the top right hand corner to activate or to open up the branching option. And so you'll see right here there's the branching feature. And when I click on that you notice everything changes and it puts me back into just the branching options. And you see this back uh, button here to take you back to the regular question editor. So after you've created your question type, what you can do then is you can assign specific places in your form to have your answer choices go to. So in this case, what I did is I set up time slots for all of the sessions for this conference that we had. And you have each time slot here. And within each time slot then, so the 925 to 1015 slot that matches up with this option here, this was all of the different or all the different sessions that were offered during that time slot. And then here is the 925 time slot. There was just two or one thing offered. During the 1025 time slot, there was these things offered. And you can go on down the list here. And so what happens is once they come into the form, whatever time slot is going to take them to another question. And so these questions here are not going to be answered every time. They're only going to be answered when somebody selects this option in the first choice. And all I have to do to, sec you know, to select that or to choose those is click on the drop down and I can choose which question that I want it to go to. So after I built all of those different time slots in here, I knew that I was basically going for time slots in questions uh, two through nine. And so this form really starts on question 10, but the first question filtered out what was happening uh, for each time slot. And then the next question that it went to filtered out which uh, sessions were available during that time slot. So what this did is it prevented us from having to have one big long list of all of these different sessions that people had to click on. I also did want to have some ability to segment whether or not the first time that a session might be offered had different feedback than a second time or uh, being able to look at things from that perspective. So having a time slot for a different one each time for me worked out with this form. So let's take a look real quick at how this looks in live view. So as somebody comes to the, the form here, they're only going to see one question. What was the time session, time of the session? And here again, you see the different times. So if I play, pick the 1240 to 130 time slot, now I'm going to get just those options that are going to appear there. And so this would have been question whatever, two through nine, where this list was created. And then now if they choose this, every single second question led to the same spot, which in our form was question 10, which is what started right here. And it appears as question three in the live form. So there you can see just a very quick option for branching. Uh, there's lots of different uses for it, but I think this gives you a good idea of what you would want to do as you set those up. Hope this helps.